Hello everyone and welcome to our Accessibility Masterclass. I'm joined by Jill Sandyman, Senior Account Director for Visit Florida, and Elin Susky, Senior Global Marketing and Trade Account Executive for Visit Florida. So thank you to you both for joining me today. Thank you. No problem. Our pleasure. So during this masterclass, um, we're going to talk about additional needs holidays. So there's such a wide range of conditions to consider from restrictive mobility and visual hearing impairments to cognitive challenges as well. We're going to try and cover as many bases as we can within our allocated time, um, but please do stick around for the Q&A at the end of this masterclass to ask any questions that you might have on this topic. We're going to first talk to Visit Florida about accessible destinations and experiences, and then we're going to bring Ocean Florida on screen to talk about their accessible holiday packages and the brand new hub that they have to support you as travel agents. So Elin, I'm going to come to you first. Um, many visitors to Florida make a beeline for the attraction parks, of course, being one of the biggest draws. Um, are all the parks prepared to welcome visitors with additional needs? Um, and what kind of protocols do they have in place currently? Yes, absolutely. All of our major theme parks, Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, Leg Legoland, are prepared, prepared to welcome visitors with additional needs, and vis visitors aren't just limited to those. Um, beyond the theme parks, many of our attractions throughout the state go above and beyond to welcome those needing extra assistance. That can be from the exploration of space to animal and wildlife rehabilitation or outdoor adventures. Visitors can rest assured that Florida offers accessible options. Um, this also extends to our shopping, restaurants, and entertainment venues. And of course, we always recommend checking park or establishments websites prior to visiting as they all have slightly different policies and procedures. But most parks do offer a check-in service um, where you're given in a lot of time to check in for your ride and negates the um, need for a queue. So most of these are also available at the guest services offices for all of these parks. So just make sure that you check that and re um, arrange it in advance. So Jill, Floridian beaches are famously popular. Um, are you able to recommend some locations that are particularly well geared up to welcome visitors with disabilities? Yes, Maddie, yeah. I mean, with 825 miles of beaches, um, you know, we've got loads that have made allowances and invested heavily in accessibility. Um, I can't talk about all of them because we'd be here all day, but three of my top picks would be, the first one would be Crandon Park Beach, which is in the Key Biscayne National Park, which is just south of Miami. Um, and they have, they have non-motorised wheelchair rentals. The wheelchairs down here have these, these big balloon wheels, which means it's really easy to push the wheelchair over the sandy terrain. In Siesta Key, which is one of the top 10 beaches in the whole United States, it's absolutely beautiful. And they have free wheelchair hire there as well. So if you don't have your own wheelchair and um, you can, uh, uh, you know, and, and you've got people with just walking disabilities, they can grab, they can get a wheelchair and, 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 and they can um, visit the beach as well. And then in Pensacola, which is up in the northwest of Florida, all of the beaches up there have been fitted with Moby Max, which means that it's just a lot more stable for people to walk on the beach or to push their push, their push chair, their, their wheelchairs on there as well. And Elin, I can imagine finding adventurous outdoor activities suitable for those with limited mobility. Could be tricky if you, for agents if they don't know where to look. Um, are you able to highlight some of the activities that Visit Florida would recommend uh, for these nature-loving clients that, that require special assistance? Yes, of course. And there's actually more options than you think. And I, I learned something myself as I was um, looking at this content plan. But of our 175 state parks, 157 are accessible to all visitors, which is pretty impressive. Um, we also have with our extensive coastline and beautiful springs, being out on the water is a personal favorite of mine. And for those with limited mobility or additional needs, it's also accessible to them as well. Um, we have, you know, you can do... Um, scuba diving, um, fishing and boating charter, charters, um, all sorts of water activities. And we have a bunch of tour companies in Florida that are passionate about giving people a great experience. Jill and I just hosted a UK trade fam where we visited the Brevard Zoo um, and their efforts are dedicated to the rescue and rehabilitation of Florida wildlife. And we learned while we were there that it's the only zoo in the United States where all guests can kayak around the exhibits. And they actually um, told us while we were there that this is also open to those with um, 
limited needs or limited mobility. So it's not just, you know, it's not, it, it's open for all. And we just thought that that was such a cool experience. And so all of our, all of our parks and attractions are, are making things accessible because we want to make sure that we welcome everybody to the state. Absolutely. Okay. So you mentioned scuba diving there. We do now have a video to showcase scuba diving um, on a specialist holiday. So let's take a look. Scuba kind of incorporates a lot of different variables. You've got the physicality of it the unknown of it, being able to see things that you've never seen before. You have the mental aspects of the fact that you're underwater somewhere, you know, you're not supposed to be really. There's just so many things about Florida that provide such a unique experience that you honestly won't see, not only anywhere in America, but in a lot of places anywhere in the world. I mean, it's gorgeous. It, there's really nothing like it. Being able to get into the water with scuba and move around freely, it's an unreal experience for sure. I had a golden retriever who was a therapy dog and we visited the hospital and Ronnie was not doing well. He was recovering from a gunshot. All I knew about him was that he liked the outdoors. That's all I knew. And so I asked him if he was a scuba diver by any chance. And he said, no, but I always wanted to learn. And at the time, his prognosis was not looking good. But I said, when you get better, look me up. And he said, but I'm paralyzed. How can I dive? I said, you're going to be just as good, if not better, than a completely able-bodied diver. And he said, OK. He looked me up. And it was evident how talented he was in the water, but also his demeanor change, his depression, and a lot of things that are associated with being a random act of violence just changed. Having someone like Gabrielle, who's like, you know, always there, just constantly pushing me along, giving me encouragement. Yeah, I've never met anyone like her. She is, she is something else. So for me, for example, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I live with pain. Most of my life I've lived with pain, but the only time I don't feel pain is when I'm scuba diving. I've seen scuba diving completely transform people's lives. You are breathing enriched oxygen at depth and it's permeating your tissues. And most of the people in my program who experience chronic pain say the same thing. Whether they have quadriplegia or paraplegia, they say that they just don't feel pain when they're diving. There's a lot of uniqueness to Florida. Literally the, the amount of flora and fauna available within Florida is almost unparalleled. Florida is also a very accessible state. Just a lot of things to help the disabled go about their daily lives. It's the very first dive master with paraplegia to be an SEI dive master. This is huge. Internationally, people are contacting me and just saying how cool it is that somebody with a disability of this extent could achieve this level of leadership. People here are more than accommodating. They are encouraging when it comes to welcoming people who are differently abled. I say people are as warm as the weather. And Elin, are there any other Floridian activities you'd recommend for travelers with additional needs? Uh, maybe for those more interested in history, culture or art? Yes, of course. If you're into arts and culture, I'd re recommend heading to Sarasota, which is Florida's culture capital. It's home to many performing art groups, in including the ballet and orchestra. Um, and many of these venues in Sarasota can accommodate those with minor to complete hearing loss. Um, the Ringling Museum, which is also um, one of my favorites, is a must do and offers many accessibility features, including um, a hearing assistance system, um, and uh, which enables world-class theater performances and audio tours in the Sprawling Art Museum. Other accessibility features at the Ringling include trams to accommodate um, walkers and non-motorized wheelchairs, um, the American Sign Language interpreters to accompany guided tours, which provides vis visual descriptions, as well as sensory friendly maps um, designed to create a welcoming experience for those visitors um, with autism or other sensory sens sensitivities. That's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, great. All right, we've got one more video to show in this section of the mask class, um, which is on kayaking. So let's take a look at what kayaking looks like in Florida. Riding bikes always the best way you can see everything. You know, you can go anywhere. It's not like a car where you're limited or like a tour bus. 
you know, bike riding you can see a lot more up close and personal. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm 44 years old and I'm deaf. My name is June Ann. I'm 45 years old and I'm deaf. Right now, we live in St. Augustine. You know, childhood friends, high school sweethearts, went to college together, got married, and then we decided, hmm, where do we want to retire early? Florida? Yes. Sign for swim, snorkel, fish, sign for beach, and the sign for kayak. While we are riding bikes or kayaking, we can use our hands to communicate, you know, left, right, south, north, you know, it's very visual. When you're in the water and you're snorkeling, I can talk to dad all the way over there. I say, hey dad, there's a fish over here. Dad, there's a fish over here. So under the water, it doesn't matter if you can hear or not because we can sign. I am a director at Flagler College. I run the ASL program there. The students there, I teach them how to work with the community in St. Augustine and to make it more accessible to deaf people. So it's all like kind of one big family and even if you're a new deaf family coming into Florida, you can always feel welcome. If maybe you had a deaf kid and you think, oh gosh, this is gonna be so hard. Look at me, I love sports, I love to play. Fantastic, that looked like so much fun. And <laughs> finally, just one more question for you, Jill, before we move on to Ocean Florida. Um, are you able to highlight any accommodation in Florida that's run especially for those with additional needs or in need of special assistance? I mean, there's so many, and actually by law in the US, um, hotels have to have rooms that are specially assisted. But my advice would be, because there are so many, would be, I know we're talking to our friends at Ocean Florida later, or later in this masterclass anyway, um, and they've, provide, they, they've built their hub with all of those accommodations that are really, you know, best catering for, for those people. So I would say hop onto Ocean's site and have a, and take a look there. Great. That leads us very nicely into our next section of the masterclass. So viewers, if you have any questions for Jill and Elin, please do pop them in the chat box and we'll be moving into the Q&A after we've chatted to Ocean Florida. So let's hear from them now. Hello and welcome to Anna Maria Jansen, who is Head of Product and Commercial at Ocean Holidays. Good morning. Now, the reason I've asked Anna Maria here today to chat to you about special assistance holidays is because Ocean Florida has recently launched an accessibility hub with accessible holiday packages. Are you able to tell us a little bit about that, Anna Maria, um, and why agents should be excited about this hub? Absolutely. I mean, first and foremost, thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited to be here and talk about our program with you. We have launched um, a fully comprehensive uh, accessible program for Florida in September last year, and we had a whooping 175 bookings on this already ever since we launched. We're so pleased about the positive feedback that we're getting so far because we spent 12 months uh, building up to this program prior to the launch in the hope that our accessibility program for Florida will set new standards for the industry and will make it a lot smoother for agents and customers to book that dream holiday, including special assistance requirements. Why should agents be excited about this? Well, here at Ocean, uh, we like to do things the right way. And I would like to give you two examples by um, what I mean with that. So as I mentioned just now, we've done a lot of research in the last 12 months prior to launching the program. And we found that a lot of customers dread that departure airport experience, as this is where a lot of things can go wrong. And they find it challenging to navigate through a, a huge airport or like knowing where to look for help if they need it. So we've taken that feedback on board and we have decided to include a personalized airport meet and greet departure service with all our bookings to take away that stress from the customer and reassure them that there is an expert on site ready to help them the moment they get to the airport, help them through check-in security up until they get to the gate to, to take away all of that pressure and anxiety and just put the customer's mind at ease when they start their holiday journey. 
the other data I'd like to mention is that our program doesn't stop at the point of booking. We are here for, for agents and customers all along the way. So we've just uh, launched um, really cool destination guides for customer with different um, special assistance requirements. And that's um, a very comprehensive guide that gives you recommendation, tips and tricks from anything prior to booking. Like if you have someone with autism, we might recommend flying into Miami because they actually have trained staff for children or customers with autism. And they also have special sensory rooms at the airport, which the other airports don't have. Um, up to restaurant recommendations um, in destination, as well as really in-depth guides for attraction and activities that customers can do. So we want to make sure the customer has a really great experience and destination. And all these guides are dedicated to um, different special assistance requirements. So for example, our guide for mobility in Florida is different to our guide for customers with cognitive challenges in Florida. So they just went live this week and they also will be available on our hub um, to, to download for everyone very shortly. It's a very comprehensive program and we're very excited about the launch and we would love to invite everyone to test us, try us and give us their feedback afterwards. Amazing. That sounds like an invaluable resource to agents. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned a couple of additional needs there, um, special assistance requirements. Um, but what special assistance requirements does Ocean Florida cater to? Is, is, it, is it all the requirements that could, that could possibly occur in a booking? Absolutely. So our program isn't about disability types or categories because we don't want to put customers into boxes. Ultimately, when acquiring for an accessible holiday with us, it's kind of a meeting of experts because customers who have special assistance requirements, they know their own abilities best. They know exactly what they can do, what they can't do, where they need or want help. And we, on the other hand, are the experts when it comes to planning your Florida holiday. We've got all the information, all the guides, the suppliers, the partners in place to make sure we can match that up with those special requirements from the customer. So whilst we refrain from using categories, I can confirm that we cater for customers who have mobility challenges or cognitive challenges um, or deal with audio or visual impairment challenges. Um, it's also one of the details that sets us apart because we cater for such a broad range of special assistance requirements. Don't get me wrong, we don't claim to have the perfect program yet. We'll constantly develop and improve the program, but I cannot think of anything that is a straight no. Um, I'd say whatever request one may have, just let us know. And either we already have the answer to it, and if not, we'll make sure we'll find out. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, I believe we have a one minute video to share about what a special assistance holiday in Florida could look like. Um, so let's take a look at that now. Anna Maria, did you have anything to add about this video? The verbal insight? I think this video is just uh, such a perfect example about the diversity and um, the opportunities for accessible holidays in Florida. Um, it really shows that there are activities and things to do for absolutely everyone. And it's a good example of what we've tried to incorporate into our program as well, because um, the type of activities that you see there, we've partnered up with these suppliers to incorporate that to make sure that everyone can, can enjoy the beautiful beaches, and the restaurants, the activities in destination, no matter of their requirements. Fantastic. Let's take a look at that now. I really enjoy coming to New Smyrna because of the accessibility. It's great to just be able to drive down to the ocean, be able to get on hard, solid sand where you can push around easier and just breathe it in and enjoy the view. Usually when I come to the beach, it is me and my mom and we just kind of enjoy sitting out in the sun, maybe reading a book. I like to write a lot, so I usually go on my phone and maybe I'll write a little bit. And every once in a while, maybe a friend will come and we can hit a volleyball around or just play little beach games. If you've had the opportunity to maybe try things, it doesn't hurt to try. A disability is something that some people have to deal with. It shouldn't be looked past or ignored. It's very easy to get caught up in things, but just go out, 
soak in the sun, enjoy the view, enjoy the people that are around. Just, it's great to just be out and about. Fantastic, what a fab video that was. Uh, moving on to my next question. How does selling to customers with additional needs differ? And um, what should agents be doing differently with these types of clients? Well, this is a very good question, Manny. The point is, it shouldn't differ. And that would be the ultimate path to inclusion. In order to answer this question, allow me to take one step back and explain what we do to reassure someone that we can meet the customer needs when they come into a travel agency and ask for special systems. We've implemented some really good processes to ensure that the key information about customers' needs doesn't get lost along the way, because our research found that is the second biggest challenge with special assistance holidays. So um, we've introduced an accessibility questionnaire, which is a, a mandatory questionnaire that we ask everyone to fill in at the time of inquiry, and we confirm that at the time of booking. This questionnaire actually has all the relevant information, all the details, all the questions that someone should ask a customer um, when they're looking to, to put together that perfect holiday for them. Um, we use that questionnaire to ensure that all the information is, is stored correctly, obviously including GDPR data, mm -hmm. it's all, yeah. all done, um, but we'll use that to, to double and triple check um, all the details with the hotels, with the suppliers, with the attractions to make sure everything is arranged exactly as per what the customer's requirements are. So from an agent's point of view, um, how does it differ? Um, I'd say it, it doesn't differ much, but don't shy away from asking questions. We found that people are often scared to ask questions about disabilities because they're worried that they're asking the wrong thing or they might offend the customer because um, of, of the way they've asked the question. But in our research, we found that you know, customers just want to be treated like everyone else. And questions are welcome because the more questions, the better, because it shows that you care and you're really trying to understand their needs. So the very best advice I can give to a travel agent is use our accessibility questionnaire. Even if you don't book through us, it will help you guide through all the information and the requirements that are really important for someone to know when they book a holiday with special systems requirements. Um, it is available on our accessibility hub. Um, and it's, it's the best tool that, that we build to, to really cater for customers with special systems holidays. Um, for everything else, I'd say use your charm and expertise as normal to sell the dream holiday to a customer. Absolutely, thank you. Now I've heard Ocean Holidays has trained accessibility champions. And um, what exactly does this mean and what's their role? Yeah, um, another good question here. So did you actually know that one in five UK holiday bookings includes someone in their party who has some form of disability? That's a huge number. And we wanted to make sure that customers feel reassured that, they, that they're talking to someone who really understands their needs and um, any questions that they have. Because, you know, a customer with special systems requirements will have different concerns before traveling than someone without. So we build accessibility champions in every single department. So we've got them in our sales department and our operations, after sales, um, concierge, uh, flights, product department, everyone is, has has a champion or several champions in their departments. Um, these are people within the business that have volunteered to be champions because they either have a personal experience or personal interest in, in learning more about uh, special assistance requirements. And what we've done is um, these champions in every single department, they've got a really in-depth training um, they go through several training stages. We even have a test at the end of it um, to make sure everyone really fully understands it. And uh, we do that to, to just reassure everyone that when they call us and they, they have questions about special assistance, they can be assured that the person on the other line really knows what they're talking about. Like we wanna be the leading experts when it comes to 
special assistance holidays for Florida. And that's why we built those champions. That's amazing. It's great that agents can come to you for that kind of advice. It's fantastic. Um, now I know you've already given agents some advice about selling special assistance holidays, um, but what would kind of your number one piece of advice be to them besides checking out your accessibility hub? Did you have anything else to to share or to add that agents can can benefit from hearing? Honestly, in short, give us a call. Okay. Um, we're really, really approachable, and you can get through to us to our call center in under five weeks. So wow. if you have any sort of question, just give us a call, and you'll be guaranteed to have someone on the other line who will be able to assist with that. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Anna Maria, for sharing all this insight into Ocean Holidays. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Great. So viewers, if you have any questions for Anna Maria about selling special assistance holidays to Florida, uh, please do type them into the chat box now as we're going to be moving into the live Q&A. Hello, welcome to the live Q&A. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you. We've already had a couple of questions come in. We've got just under 10 minutes to run through any questions that you might have for Jill and Anna Maria today. So the first question that came in was from Jill Simpson. Um, the question was, do you have any places where electric scooters can be hired? Anna Maria, you nodded at that one. <laughs> yes, uh, I can already answer that. Uh, yes, there's actually a few places in Florida um, where you can rent electric scooters and more. Uh, we work with a company called Scoot Around. They have locations in Orlando, Miami, and directly at Disney World. And you can rent equipment there for the entirety or just a couple of days during your holiday. And what they do is they also deliver it to your hotel or villa or even the cruise port if you want to take it on a cruise with you so yes amazing um, and we've also had a question from laura about sunflower lanyards are they recognized in the usa and florida jill you're nodding at that one just no i'm that. i'm nodding at that one because i was going to take it and say that is okay. actually a very good question which i don't know the answer to but i will find that out but it looks like anna does so that's <laughs> even <laughs> Um, yes, again, um, they are being recognized, uh, especially in Florida. Um, all the public spaces are trained, uh, airports, uh, train stations, supermarkets, car hire companies, so they're recognized. And also, if you book with Ocean Florida, uh, we give a complimentary sunflower lanyard away to your customer if they request one. So if you want one, you get it. Excuse me for being very naive. Can you just explain what a sunflower lanyard is for any agents that might not know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Sunflower Lanyard is um, a scheme that was introduced a couple of years ago in the UK, which is about recognising hidden disabilities. So it's for customers who might struggle with something that isn't quite obvious and they might need that special assistance or they might need a little bit of extra time in the queue at the airport, you know, at security. And that's a way for, for saying to someone, hey, I've, I've got a hidden disability here just please have patient. Um, I need a little bit of extra support, a little bit of extra time without, you know, shouting out about it. And it's a scheme that's really successful in the UK and um, that is recognised in, in all major uh, cities, airport, train stations, supermarkets, etc. that's recognised in the UK. And other countries are picking up on this as well. Okay, amazing. Um, Jill, now I know that the uh, Visit Florida Travel Pro training program has an accessibility module. Am I right? Yeah. You are right, yes. Can you just run through a bit about what agents might be able to learn when they take that module? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I actually did it. I, I did a refresher this morning, Maddie. I did it myself oh. just, to, just to make sure I was aware of everything that was on Amazing. there. Amazing because we do upload things all the time. Um, but it is really, it's a really good source of information. Um, what well, it's, it's about 16 minutes long, and you can dip in and you can dip out of it, or that's how long it takes to complete it anyway. You can dip in and dip out, so you don't have to do it from start to finish. Um, and it goes through all of the different, um, different kinds of types of holiday types, you, if you like. So it will go through parks and outdoors, it goes through beaches, arts and culture. So the different things that people might want to go on away on a holiday for and all of the and then lists out what are the best places to visit for people with with, with additional needs and also it also takes you through the theme parks as well and what the theme parks provide 
Um, yeah, lots and lots of information on there, lots of videos as well. There's also a family section, which I think is really useful. And it then shows which places cater best for kids with additional needs as well. So um, lots and lots of information in 16 minutes. I mean, what's not to like about that, really? And then the best thing is when you've finished it, is that all of that content doesn't just go away it goes into we have a retain section so when you've finished one of the chapters anything that you've read goes into this retain section which then means you can download it you can send it on to your customers or you can just go back and refresh on that information so it's a bit of an encyclopedia really a, a really good reference tool um, in addition to the Ocean Florida Hub, obviously. Um, <laughs> so between us both, um, I think we've got all the information that everybody requires. Yeah, you've got it covered. Um, <laughs> Kerry mentioned there, she's um, interested to find out if there's anywhere she can find information on accommodation that provides family rooms for families with older children rather than younger children. If there's, any way, if there's anywhere that's easy to differentiate um, between those hotels. Anna Maria, do you have, can you give, give us any advice? <laughs> um, so there is no immediate directory uh, as okay. such of, of the different hotels that provide that. Um, what what we're trying to do is have that direct conversation with you as the agent um, together with the customer on behalf of the customer because it's about finding out what they want. So, for example, in, in some instances, we would um, recommend uh, staying in a villa instead because that gives them full peace of mind, there is the way from the crowds that, you know, that's a different experience or someone who would enjoy staying in a hotel, but then they prefer to stay in a two bedroom suite or in an apartment hotel in Florida. Like this is the good thing about Florida. You've got so many different options for what is available to the customer, but it's having that personal conversation to find out what matters to most to the customer during the holiday and then have that conversation with an expert on the other side who can provide recommendations. So we we have a huge variety of you know apartments, villas, hotels for, for each type of client that it is, but it's about finding out what matters the most to the customer when they go away. Which I'm sorry it's a very long-winded way of answering that question, but <laughs> no, not at all. Thank you. Um I did also have a thought about marketing um, when agents are marketing to customers uh, florida is a holiday destination it's always good to in include diverse and inclusive um, marketing imagery and videos um, jill we've seen some great um, content from visit florida in this masterclass. i just wondered if that was accessible to agents to use for themselves um, or and, or whether they can get imagery as well for that yeah thank you buddy thank you for saying our content is fantastic we do pride ourselves <laughs> on trying to uh give give relevant and you know and good content there and yes we'd love um agents to use our content and, and get it out there to the wider audience so um we have our international marketing toolkit which any anybody who sells florida can download any images or videos from there and there's an action there's an accessibility section on that on the, in that toolkit um, and the, the link to the toolkit is in our virtual our virtual booth. So if you want to go in there, you can download it from there. Um, and there's also our YouTube channel as well. I put um, some links several times, actually, while we were looking at the videos, some of the playlists. Um, and those YouTube, the, the, please share those on your socials as well. Um, we prefer you to embed from YouTube rather than us give you extra B-roll for that just because of how the... The algorithms work on YouTube, um, but anything at all that you're looking for, if it's not there, just contact me and we will we will do our best to give you whatever content you need. Amazing. Thank you, Jill. And thank you to everyone who has supplied questions. We are just about out of time now, so we'll wrap up there and move on to our next masterclass. Thank you, Jill and Anna Maria, for your time. No problem. My pleasure. Great. And thank now we'll you. move on to our LGBT plus masterclass. We'll see you there. Thank you. Bye.